Mr. Dax, raise your hand. We'll get you the mic. Start with David. What do you remember from last year's game in Morgantown, and is there still a bad taste in your mouth? Yeah, it was a uh, – we got punched in the mouth real early. Um, didn't play as well as we wanted to first half. Uh, but I was proud of how our defense fought back and gave us a, gave us a chance to win the game. Uh, but, yeah, just being that close really hurt and not getting it done up there. And I want that trophy back. So, yeah. Where you where have you improved the most um, through the first couple of weeks of the season, Coach Pry was just in here mentioning that that he feels like your reading of the game has gotten a lot better. Yeah, um, I've just been trying to honestly just take what take what I do at practice to the game. Like that's really where I feel like I've improved a lot. Is like not really trying to over complicate things like. What I do at practice is how I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do on game day, and just thinking like that, and trusting in that, and trusting my practice habits are gonna translate to Saturdays. It really helped me out. Um, just a lot of film study as well, um, and just getting comfortable with the defense. And it's finally just, honestly, it's really clicking on all cylinders right now. So it's gotta keep doing it week in, week out. We've seen Chamari now Taiwan have the lunch pail. Is yeah, that, is that something you you want to carry? And oh yeah, hundred percent. I've never gotten to carry it, and I really want it. Uh, what would it mean to to have that opportunity? It mean a lot. Um, I've I've wanted it ever since I got here. Uh, I haven't got the opportunity yet, but um, you know those two guys are very worthy of that of that honor. And so, uh, hopefully one day. But you know, Taiwan and Chamar have been playing their nuts off, so they really deserve it. So, Aaron, that seems crazy that you haven't had it yet. But uh, <laughs> coach, coach was saying that. You guys have a hunt grade when he yeah. goes through, and it's sort of like for pursuit and things like that. I mean, is there is that a point of pride to get a good hunt grade when you grade film? Oh yeah, no doubt. I mean, it shows you how productive you are, how good you're playing, um, as well. Uh, never want to be at the bottom of that list. Always working to be the be at the top, and so uh, just I don't know. We go in there, and it really makes you feel good when you have a bad one. It really pisses me off when I have a – what makes me feel good when I have a good one. It really pisses me off when I have a bad one. So, I mean, it's just competitive. It just keeps us going. Uh, wanting to get better each and every week. You just give us also a good uh, uh, standard to meet each and every week. So It, it, it seems like, just from our vantage point, that, that like the tackling in space has been really good so far this year. Yeah. Um, how much of a point of emphasis is, is that in practice, and what have you seen just being out there with those guys? Well, I mean, I'd see – the biggest difference is how while we're, I'd say the reason we're playing so well right now is how we practice, and how we go to work every day, and so we try to make practice simulate. Uh, I mean, yeah, practice simulate games uh, Monday, I mean Tuesday and Wednesday, and so that's really where it shows up. As I say, is just how hard we work, and there's definitely things in my game I need to clean up in space still, but I see we've gotten a lot better in that area of it, and just setting the edges and trusting that the pursuit from the inside is going to get there. And it just handles itself, I'd say. Just if I could get one more. I mean, there were a lot of factors last Saturday that could have taken mm -hmm. big chunks out of that crowd. You know, yeah. Early morning, opponent, all those things. Was there a moment you kind of looked around and said, "Man, these people are bought in." Yeah, <laughs> I was very, I was very happy with the turnout. Very proud of our fan base. It really meant a lot to us as players, especially me. He's looking up there and seeing the students section rocking like it was. I mean, eleven o'clock game. I know. That's tough for a lot of the fans. Us as players, we really like it because it's we don't got to sit in a hotel all day and you actually get to see your family after the game. But it was it really meant a lot to us players and and just to see the support that we have is just there's not many places in the country that get that uh, every Saturday and I'm really blessed to uh, get to play in front of them those fans. How does this uh, West Virginia offense really stress a defense? Uh, they go to tempo. They go really fast. I mean, the quarterback has a really good arm. Um, probably one of the best arms I've ever seen. Um, got good receivers on the in, on the on the on the back end, and um, try to throw it out there. Get a lot of screens. Get a lot of other athletes in space. Uh, cut it up, and uh, really basic run game. Not anything crazy like that, but really downhill. And they're gonna make you fit a lot of gap scheme and a lot of movement up front. So. Um, 
it's good offense. We got a, we got a big challenge this week, and so uh, we're gonna have to really practice well and show Thursday. Yep. I know they have a, a really good completion rate or conversion rate on third down, but yeah, mm -hmm. you guys are one of the best in the nation on stopping yeah. those third down conversions. Mm -hmm. Can you speak to the discipline that that takes to, to make sure you get off the ball, get the ball back to your offense? Yeah, it's uh, a lot of it's situational football, knowing where the sticks are, especially in your drops, not dropping too deep, not not biting on shorter routes, really playing the sticks and breaking down on everything like that. And also when you're blitzing, not taking any false steps, getting off on the ball, and giving, making that quarterback have not much time to get the ball out. And so just those things, just knowing the, knowing the situation, and then and the coach is really harping on that, has really, has really helped us uh, get to that point. But uh, like you said, it's going to be a really big challenge this week, and hopefully we can get it done. Mike, let's go out to Zoom for a couple. We got two quick ones. Quick, you start with Mike, please. Uh, yeah, uh, Dax, I'm, I'm curious. You talked to me at the beginning of the season about one of your goals being uh, playing more consistent, uh, consistent practice to practice, game to game, play to play. How would you evaluate your your success there? As of right now, we're that was, that's been my main focus, and it's 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 working. Um, it's the standard of honestly, it's just standard. I mean, me, Chamari, Norrell, we harp on it every day about how we're supposed to practice and how it's going to translate to Saturday. And so far, it, it shows. And so we've got to keep we've got to keep on that and believing in the preparation and believing in the process and doing all the little things right. And I truly believe Saturday or Thursday will handle itself. And this appears to be a pretty considerable step up in terms of the ability of yeah. this offense. Um, how do you kind of characterize the defense's mood? Are you eager? Are you confident? Are you curious how you guys will – will fare against a more powerful offense? Um, I believe, I mean, like I said, like I, I've been trying to really treat the games just as practice. Like I treat practice the same way as, as Saturday or Thursday. Like it's, it's not, people don't need to really complicate it. What you do day in, day out is how you're going to be on Saturdays, I truly believe. And if we just, if we are who we are, like Monday through Friday, then I, I truly believe that well, Thursday is going to take care of itself. So, yeah. Last Thanks, man. On Zoom, no David Teal, please. Dax, <clears throat> Dax, piggybacking on Andy's question about West Virginia's offense, is it different from last season, especially since they changed coordinators to Graham Harrell, who's known for that for that spread and uh, you know rapid tempo? Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's very similar um, offenses. I would say. They like a lot of screens, they, um, a lot of quick game, a lot of RPOs off of it, and it's your basic run game, split zone, inside zone, uh, a good amount of counter, outside zone. It's ba Honestly, it's a very similar offense, but um, he usually has, off the run, he's always going to have an, uh, a pass option off of it, which is maybe a little bit different, but um, he also has a, a, a better arm than the quarterback last year, um, so that'll be a lot more deep shots, I would say. But it's very similar offenses as last year. Thank you. Thank you on Zoom. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. Thank you.